Welcome to the Big Bad Wolf uh, podcast. My name is Kimo Pasha. Jabulo Swana. We're here to give you the latest news, previews, reviews, and betting info into MMA and boxing. Yes, sir. Uh, top story of the new of the in the news this week in the in the world of MMA way. is Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor is in hot waters again. Um, allegedly, has been uh, pulled up for sexual assault. Uh, public indecency. However, I must I must emphasize that Conor McGregor has been with his family the entire time. We have been able to follow mm-hmm. um, follow him on his yacht, uh, enjoying his retirement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, the retirement is quote unquote as he has been tested by USADA um, once they docked, um, showing that his retirement is. Uh, yet dodgy. again, a little bit dodgy. Uh, uh, perhaps a um, a tool to get what he wants, which is Khabib too. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, I mean that's a good start, Jim. I mean maybe we should get straight into it. This week, this weekend's card, we've got UFC Vegas eleven, yes. which is heating up. A stacked card lined up. We're going to give you some some of our insights into the fighters, what we think, and perhaps. At the end of it all, we're going to give you our betting picks. From next week, Jib, in mm. our review show, yes. you know the wrong pick gets you... Gets you a shot, uh, yeah. wonderful Jägermeister. Yeah, so uh, I hope you pick them right, buddy. Otherwise, you're going to leave a very drunk. You're better safe with me, as always. We'll find out. We'll find out. So let's. we're going to start off by reviewing the top five main card fights. Yeah. First fights on the card... We've got uh, Kevin Holland versus Darren Stewart. Yes, I'm going to start off with uh, by saying, you know, I've, I'm, I don't know. It's 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 going to be it's going to be interesting. It's Look, gonna be interesting. I'm going. I'm 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 going straight for the pick. Holland, KO, second round. I'm so 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 thrilled to see this fight. I think Holland's kung fu style is. Um, <laughs> Unique. Yeah, to say the least. Uh, he's rangy. Yeah. He's. Um, I find Stuart very boring. I've, I've seen Stuart before. As my man Conor McGregor says, he's stiff, stuck <laughs> in the mud. He's stuck in the mud, brother. <laughs> stuck yeah. in the mud division. Yeah, I, I, I'm going. I'm going for Holland. Second round um, knockout. Second round knockout. Too skillful. Too 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 the unorthodox sort of approach. I I I am leaning towards that. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. The boy Darren Stewart, he's a long-time UFC veteran. Sure, sure. Coming down from the 205 division, he's a big boy. You know mm-hmm. he's, he's a very big boy, very crisp with the hands. Yeah. I think yeah. he's on a five-fight winning streak. As, sure. boring, as boring as he is, Sure. I'm going to tell you that Kevin Holland, he's on, you know, he's a little bit, I think, I think, he, lost, I think he lost two fights ago, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. He's exciting, I agree. He's sure, exciting. Sure, sure. But we're not talking about excitement here, Jamie. We're talking about who is getting the W. Look, fair point, fair point. Um, I'm here for the excitement, the rush, mm. getting the blood running, brother. Mm. Stuart, uh, look, he can lull me to sleep, I won't lie. If Holland loses, it's going to be an exciting fight either or. No, I agree with you. I mean, he has gotten a couple of five of the night bonuses. He, I mean, he's done well. He's got nine first round knockouts. But, you know, if we look at the odds, the betting odds has, has, has him as a favorite, actually. Sure, but where is it really going? I mean, the middleweight division is, uh, it's murderer's row. It is murderer's row, but it's, the competition really starts top five, top six. Yeah. This fight, in actuality, doesn't really count for anything. It doesn't really count for anything, mm-hmm. but if you're a smart man, if you have a hundred rand and you bet your money on Darren Stewart, you will make your way out with a hundred and ninety-five rand on Hollywood bets. Sure. sure. So for an underdog, big-time underdog, five-fight win streak, that's my pick. I'm the risk taker. I'm going with Holland. I mean, it's not much of a risk. He's a favourite. 
I think it's a risk just simply because of uh, Stuart's veteran status that yeah. you did uh, you did you did double down on. But um, I think throughout the card, I'm 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 going for the least favorite. I think. So you're going, you're going okay. Well, well, let's look at the next fight on our list. Cool, Jim. Next fight on the card, 115 pound division, the straw weights. We've got straw weights. We've got the females out there, Mackenzie Dern. Yes, sir. Versus Randa Marcos. I'm, uh, you know, Mackenzie's done well. She's, I think, eight and one. She is eight and one. Eight that and is one, true. Seven and one. I think uh, Marcos's last fight was also the same lady that Mackenzie lost to Amanda Rivas. Yes. The only defeat ever. Which, by the way, she did four months after she gave birth. That is very true. That is very true. I, it is quite a good point that you uh, point out that they lost to the same fighter. Mm. However, I'm, look, I'm not, too, I'm not too enthralled by this fight. They're both grapplers. Stylistically, Ooh. Ooh. stylistically, it doesn't make for the best watch. JV, my man. Look. Listen, listen, listen. From what I've seen, Mackenzie Dern, brilliant fighter. Sure. She won by leg lock in her last fight in the scramble. That is a two-time world jiu-jitsu champion. Unprecedented, right? Sure. She's got skills out of this world. She's a heavy favorite for this one. I don't see a way for Marcos to get anything. She's a 35-year-old over the hill. Easy, easy. You know, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what she can get out of this. I mean, you're right, too. Mackenzie Dern over here, I see she's also training with Jason Perillo. Top striking coach, adding that to her arsenal. It's going to be something different. There's going to be something different and it's going to be the next level Mackenzie Dern for the win. She's ranked 15th. She's coming for number one. Look, I can't fight you. I can't fight you. Dern does look like um, she'll be too much for Marcos. However, look, for the people at home, I am not a supporter of this grappling on grappling. <laughs> it's Damien Meyer. We're living out of Damien Meyer era again here. A I mean, snooze fest, an absolute snooze fest. My man over here is, I love, uh, I love, likes I, technicalities. I, I, I love the it's technical stuff. You let's know just me. bang it out. Let's bang it out. Well, I guess then we've got Mackenzie for that one. Uh, let's move yeah. on to um, the next one up, up oh. on this. The 205, Johnny Walker versus Ryan Spann. Yes, this what, is what very you, exciting. What, what Look, are your thoughts on Johnny? Johnny Walker is uh, an exciting prospect still. Um, sure, he's. Uh, I think he's on the back of two, three losses. I, uh, I'm not yeah, too two, sure. Three, I'm two. not too sure. He's taken a few losses. Um, still a very exciting prospect. Um, a sensational striker. Ryan Spann, for me, has been... <laughs> Look, since he's entered the... Since he's entered the, 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 the the UFC hasn't lost, but he hasn't been as active as um, I would like him to be. Um, so the undefeated streak doesn't really count for me. It doesn't mean anything for me. And I think, I think Johnny Walker is just too unique, too, too powerful, too young, too, too eager. Too much for him, you say. And I think he's, he's also very, very naive. And that, 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 could, that could actually work for him. He, he's sort of... Well, he's training with Faraz uh, Wahabi now, who is the great George St. Pierre's coach. Sure, Who sure. is now cleaning up his strategy, making sure that all that wild talent, streamlining it into someone, maybe a better fighter who can maybe compete. The man was once touted as the new John Jones. Blasphemous. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, Blasphemous. That's, that's just it. I mean... When John Jones had nobody else, that was the biggest fight in the division at a stage. Yeah, let's, 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 let's avoid falling into the hype train here. All right, well, I mean, let's have a look at the odds. Versus Gerald Mearshart. Yo, listen, your tongue is educated, my brother. <laughs> it, listen, I'm too old to get this. Gerald Mearshart. Mearshart. Yeah. Gerald. Gerald, Gerald M. Gerald M. Let's, let's give him Gerald Jim. M. And Shim. Shim and Kazmat. Yeah, Kazmat. Kazmat. Let's, let's, keep it, Kazmat. let's keep it safe. Let's keep it Kazmat, safe. Kazmat, the, the next big thing in MMA. Dana White's favorite fighter. He's got two fights coming up in the next two months. He feels like he's got in the bag. I can't fault him. 
Yeah. I can't fault him. I love his relentless energy. Yeah. He, I, I don't want to say it, but he does, he does remind me of the eagle. He is, he is he, Khabib Light. Oh. He is the, the second coming of Khabib. Yeah, but I'm not a fan of the eagle. Exactly, right? As, as you know, as down. you know. Yeah, big yeah, Connor fan. Yeah, big Connor fan. But um, I do <laughs> see um, Kazmat coming out on top, mm -hmm. even though Gerald M. Um, is a, he's a seasoned, he's, he's a seasoned, seasoned he's, veteran. He's a seasoned he has, veteran. has um, been in a couple of wars. Yep. Uh, his skill set is sound. He um, very composed. He has the gas tank. Yeah. However, I don't see him matching with uh, Kazma's wrestling. He's I, grappling. You know it's just it's very rare that this happens. But I agree with you 100. <laughs> percent Looking at the odds here on Betway, Gerald Mearshot. You walking away with 368 rand for 100 rand bet if he wins. That's almost, my man, that is, that is tasty. Good, yeah, that's, that's, that that's is good tasty, odds. Yeah. but I mean, if you're willing just to take, to make 20 rand off your 100, Kazmat is your man, and I guarantee you, he is going to win this. Easy money for you. If you've got money, make that bet. It's safe in the bank. JB, I'm having a look at the odds here. I see Johnny Walker, slight favorite. What do you think? I think he should be a, a hands down favorite. Hands down favorite. Hands down favorite. I think Grind Span is also reaching the twilight of his career. To be honest, mm. yeah. but to, he doesn't have that uh, you know that killer instinct like the Rose. Thug <laughs> <laughs> Rose number Eunice. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Well, for me, as a slight favorite for, I mean, you're putting a hundred bucks down. You got seventy two rand in your pocket. Not a bad return. However, I do I did watch Johnny Walker's last fight. He did seem to not have much energy after the first round. Sure. If he does not if he doesn't get it done in the first round for me, it 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 looks like he fades off in fights. Sure. Doesn't really win many. Uh, another thing, he just had coronavirus two weeks ago. No, hundred percent. But I mean I mean he's got coronavirus, he doesn't have a gas tank. Listen, How's that gonna affect him? Listen, 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 listen. <clears throat> A couple of fighters have had coronavirus coming and come off big victories. Ovin St. Pru. Yeah. I mean, I think it's his second time getting them. I mean, he needs to get locked up. I don't know what's <laughs> going on with that boy. Yeah. Um, I can't really put Daniel Cormier into that because yeah. he's, he's, he's Hall of Fame. <coughs> um, 2B. Yeah. Um, uh, I think um, Thiago Santos is currently tested positive for coronavirus as well. But has he won? Who has won after testing positive for corona? Open Saint Prue. Well, you give me one That's name. 205. For me, That's 205. ladies and gentlemen, I will give you. I'm, I'm going to go with Ryan Span for this one. That will be 92 rand for 100 rand bet in your pockets. My call. Mark my words. Remember this next week when I check that, when I cash that check. Ryan Span beats Johnny Walker. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> risky mate. So. This is what we're about. Alas, I mean, let, let's move on to our next fight on the card. Let's move on to the co-main, JB. This one yes, is going sir. to be two big strikers, two men who love to stand and bang. Yes, one sir. who just come off a big loss to Conor McGregor within 15 seconds. Of course, and of course. And one, the other, an up-and-coming youngster who's tearing through the division. Sure, sure. What's, where do you have it? Look, it is, it is a, an exciting prospect, this uh, curtain raiser. Mm -hmm. um, cowboy, Donald Cerrone, crowd favorite. Uh, one of my favorites. Why he, is that? Why is that? I mean, look, Donald Cerrone is, he's been around since, since I started watching MMA. Mm. Um, he's always down for a fight. Yeah. He, he, is, he never shies away from, um, from a war. Yeah. Um, and he's just always game. I love that he's always game. It's always positive vibes. But that hasn't always worked out well for me. I mean, let's be honest, JB, he's lost four fights in a row. Any other fighter without his pedigree, you're getting cut from the UFC. 100%. 100%. You've, you've, you've made a valid point, but he, he, he's, he's it, deserved. It's, he's it's, deserved it's, that. He's still an upper level, high level fighter. Without a shadow of doubt. Without a shadow of doubt, if Daniel Cormier can fight at the age of 40, 
and over. But Daniel Cormier was world champion. He was double champion. Donald Cerrone, unfortunately, he's never won a belt. But he has the, the most US. victories. He does have the most That victories. counts for something. That counts for something. The man has been... He, he has never mounted um, Mount Rushmore. However, he's been climbing. He's seen them come and go. He's faced everybody. I mean, with that many wins, without a title, does that not mean you're fighting bums? No, I'm ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. So, who, is, who has he beaten? <sighs> Look, it's tough. Which high-level fighter has he beaten? He's got, for, 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 I mean, for the great fighter he is and for the <sighs> amount of wins he has, like you said, he's got the most wins in the sure, UFC. Sure, sure. But he's never quite made it to the top. And now here we are, not even sure if he's going to beat this young bull and perhaps take down a fifth straight defeat. Let it be known, there is no we. I am 100%. I'm 100% on Donald Cerrone's side. Um, I think Nico Price... Nico Price is an exciting fighter, for yep. sure. Yep. Um, he's a crowd favourite. He's fast becoming a crowd favourite. He's been in a couple of scraps where he has just um, stood in the pocket and traded. Mm -hmm. um, however, that has been against lower level competition, so to speak. He, I mean, I think his most notable victory might be me, means maybe I'm... Uh, no, no, I think he's been, he's been Jeff uh, Neal. He's yeah. beat, Jeff Neal's a top 10 contender. Yeah, but you have to really think about it. I mean, if I, I ask mean, my brother who the hell that is, he's going to say, yeah, I probably went to school with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, looking at the betting odds here on Sunbet, we've got Nico Price as, as the betting favourite. 65 Rand for your 100. Donald Cerrone, 225 for your 100. Which, yeah, who, are you, who, are you, who are you going to pick? I'm going Donald Cerrone. You're going Donald Cerrone? 100% right? I'm going Donald Cerrone. He, Not an emotional decision? For, uh, 100% an emotional decision. He has to win this. I want to see Donald Cerrone. Um, two, at least two more fights out of the, the old horse. Yeah. At least two more fights, a little redemption song, you know, a little... No, just uh, trip down just memory a lane. A nice one song. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, off on his horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, my pick is going with Nico Price. Yeah. I I'm gonna play it safe. I mean, it's I don't I don't see it happening. I don't see Donald pulling another one, especially after the dreadful year he's had. He made it into the top five, and now um, he's always top five. Maybe. Four defeats later, going for his fifth. I'm sorry. Head kick, Donald Cerrone, <laughs> fourth round. Well, moving on to our main event of the evening. Two years in the making. Yes, sir. Colby Chaos Covington versus Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. First of all, let, let it be known that Gabo <laughs> is an absolute traitor. <laughs> I mean... No, no, I'm not a traitor. No spine this gentleman has. He was the biggest Tyron Woodley fan. I mean, he was shoving him down my throat. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I'm, a, I'm a ruthless Robbie, Robbie Lawler fan. And um, look, Tyron Woodley, I think, reached his peak at uh, a very late stage in his career. Yeah. I think he had... Um, he was he was moments moments of just uh, hitting the, the, a bit of a dip. Um, Father Time was knocking on his door. Yeah, and I think this fight, Kobe, Kobe is gonna is gonna overwhelm him. Covington's a relentless wrestler, pushes the pace. Yeah, striking. I mean, he put on a striking virtuoso um, against uh, the Nigerian nightmare. He did, however, he that, lost uh, that fight, you know, and he got, a, he's, he got his jaw broken. And he still kept going. He still did, he still did. Looking at the odds with Sunbet, I mean, there's a lot... I mean, it's the, I mean the, the, the odds say it all. I mean, Tyron Woodley, 375 rand to 100. Not looking good. On the other hand, Colby Covington will make you 28 rand off your 100. Jesus, how old is Woodley anyway? He's like my buddy's age. Who? Woodley's. Woodley is 38. He's a 38 year old. But again, he was world champion for two years. I want to bring up a point and say, 
I think Kobe Covington is in the same position, to be honest. No. I think he is... Kobe Covington just fought. His last fight was for the title, sure. which was a very narrow win. Sure. Very sure. narrow win. Ooh. He even had a case for a rematch. He pushed for the rematch, which he didn't get. He wins his fight. He's back in the title. I hope Tyron Woodley finally lets his hands go because that's been his issue in the last three fights. He's taken three losses where he's literally done nothing but lie on the ground. Um, and, I mean... It seems like mentally he's not in a good space and I think once he gets, I don't know, hopefully his hate for Colby Covington will bring out the best in him. Look, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this, I've, I've been trying to tell you, Tyron Woodley is a boring fighter. An absolute dreadful watch. Tyron <laughs> Woodley versus um, Stephen Boy Wonder Thompson, I mean that was oh, atrocious. That was dreadful but that was... He just has a right hand. But that was, That's all he has. He defended the belt. He defended the belt. With all that being said, JB, your pick for the main event? I'm going Covington. Covington? Um, oh. A blowout. Uh, it's going to go the distance. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he just doesn't have the power, does he? No, no, he's not putting anyone to sleep, unfortunately. But he will outwork Woodley. Um, he, he's just a better fighter at this stage. And he has more to gain and lose. And I just think that's just... Facts of the matter, right? I am also going with Woodley, I mean, sorry, Covington on this one. No, I can um, go with Woodley. We will be excited next week, next Monday, to see you guys with the review show. Yes, where sir. We will be reviewing our picks, previewing next week's fights. And we've got a couple of big ones coming up in the next couple of weeks. We've got Israel Adesanya versus Paolo Acosta, the biggest fight in the, the middle. The Eraser. Race. We are going to be previewing that. Hope you're going to join us for that. What else do we have coming up, Jabe? I have no fucking idea. You have no fucking idea? <laughs> we've, got we, we, we've got in the next month, on October the 24th, we've got the biggest fight oh, of the yes. year. UFC 254, Khabib Namurga made off. Going down versus Justin oh, Gaethje. Gaethje. We're really going to look forward to... I mean, that, those are big money fights over there. Those are big money fights. I just don't see... Well, we'll get we'll break them down for you guys in the next few weeks. We uh, see Mac. We'll hope to see you soon. Um, so yeah, we'll see you next week Monday um, from Pasha and I. <laughs> <laughs>